Experience a special post-game concert with Hunter Hayes, Saturday, July 29th, game time 7.05. Order now. Well, there's a couple of Philly connections to the 1982 uh, American League Championship Milwaukee Brewers, including Don Money, who was a designated hitter for a good part of that year for the Milwaukee Brewers, played a little infield, and Don's nice enough to join us up here uh, in the booth. Larry Heisel also had Philly connections, and he was uh, introduced as well. Pretty nice ceremony. Yes, it was pretty good. Uh, you know, some guys we talked a little earlier about, you know, we haven't seen for a few years now, and... You know, unless it's a golf tournament or, you know, one of these little shindigs here. But uh, Larry Heisel, I haven't seen him for a while. And Teddy Simmons, you know, he's still on the ball. So it's, a lot, it's been a lot of fun. I know it, it probably changed your life when you left Philadelphia to come here because you had so many productive years here as well as, you know, in Philadelphia. Uh, but I guess the 82 pennant had to be the penultimate for you guys. It was. Uh, it was a great camaraderie between all the players. Uh, we had a lot of fun. You know, we had a flip game behind home plate. We'd have 20 out of 25 players playing flip back in those days. And <laughs> we'd get the ballpark at uh, 1, 2 in the afternoon and play till about 5 o'clock back practice time. So it was a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, that was it. Uh, you know, we come up a little short, but uh, it was sure a lot of fun. Now, when this gentleman got called up to the big leagues, you were playing third, Larry Bowen. How did you deal with that? Very carefully. <laughs> did, he, did, did he talk a lot then? Uh, Larry was Larry. Uh, if you know Larry, <laughs> I mean, I, I played with him. I was one year in front of him. I, I was a shortstop in uh, my first year. I played for short Philly, and then he came up the final year, and I moved over to third. And, you know, we got along great. I mean, yeah, Larry was a young kid. I mean, even though he was older than I was at the time. But Larry, you know, he grew into it. You know, just like I played besides Robin Young. He came up when he was 18. Wow. You know, there's a big difference in, uh, you know, playing with Larry and Greg and, you know, Smitty a little bit. Uh, it was a lot of fun there, too. Bull's here. Did you think you seen him? I have not seen I know he's here, but I have not seen him. He said he's down by third base someplace. Yeah, he's an ambassador on this trip. He's got a bunch of Phillies fans out here that he's, uh... So you hit the first home run at the bat, at the bat then Larry got the first hit. Larry got the first hit. Sure Larry's going to take... All the credit for the history of Veterans Stadium. <laughs> well, of course, he got the first hit, but you know that's just part of baseball. But uh, you know, we had uh, we had a lot of fun. You had new stadiums back in those days. You know, the cookie cutters, as it's called, and it was used for everything. Turf was new at the time, but uh, you know, we went from Connie Mack Stadium to that. We thought it was you know unbelievable. But over the course of years, things uh, wear out a little bit, and. Yeah, we'll get back to Larry. You know, he got the first hit. I, had, I tied the ball game up in the six or home run, and we ended up winning 4-1. Mm. There's Aaron Noah, who's retired on the 3-1 put-out. All right, so the, the, the teams that you were part of here at Milwaukee, I mean, that 82 team, what was the Cardinals obviously in the World Series. What is the, the, the biggest thing that you remember about that team? that 82 team lost to the Cardinals, obviously, in the World Series. What is the, the, the big thing that you remember from that career? You talk about Robin Yao, Paul Mall. I mean, you had, you, had some, you had three Hall of Famers on that team with Raleigh Fingers closing things out, too. Well, it was great uh, camaraderie. When I, when I came over in 73, you know, it was a young organization. They came here from uh, Seattle in 1970, so it was only like four years old. And, you know, when I was in Philly, you know, I just got in a rut. And, you know, Philly needed some pitching. Milwaukee needed a third baseman, so it worked out both ways. Uh, Jim Longboard had a pretty good career. And, you know, it's just one of those things that we built the club over. Gorman Thomas came up mid-70s, Charlie Moore, you know, uh, Robin came up in 74, and we all meshed together because most of us played about 10 years together. Right. So you knew what everybody did. You, it was a team effort. If you called for a bunt, you bunt it. Hit and run, we did a lot of Stole a few bases and hit some home runs. And that's uh, how we used to win. You had some characters on that team too, didn't you? Uh, we had some good ones. <laughs> you know, Gorm, Gorman was it. Yeah. Vuk. Vukovic, you know, I mean, Slate was there, Charlie Moore, you know, Munchkin, he, he went from catcher to right field, become a very good right fielder. He did that year, yeah. You know, Cecil Cooper, man, oh man, he could hit you know, slime drives all over the yard. And, oh, ben Ogilvy, he could let it rip. Could ben Ogilvy, he throws something about six inches off the ground, and he hit it out of, out of the state. He would, mm. and he'd leave, he'd leave the ground with both feet. He swung so hard. It was just, it was a great team effort, you know, uh, pitching-wise. You know, when we got fingers uh, in that trade with Teddy Simmons and Vuk, you know, that put us over the hump because we never really had that closer. Right. We're trying to win games 8 to 7, 10 to 9 all the time. And, you know, at times, uh, you need a 3 to 1 win or a 3 to 2. And he did it, and Vuki came in, they went to side, both of them went to side, yeah. 
Did Harvey Key make that much of a difference that year? Harvey, Harvey, uh, yeah, because Buck Rogers was manager uh, for the year before uh, in '81. We made the mini series. We lost to the Yankees in five, and, and then Buck started out the following year. And we just got in a rut. We could, we couldn't beat anybody. Mm. You know, we were just things were not working out, and so they made a change. We lost the first game out in Seattle in a three-game series, I believe it was. And we fell last place. Mm. And then uh, they made a move and uh, brought Harvey in. And Harvey was here for years as yeah. the hitting coach. And great, you know, he could talk to you. And Harvey wouldn't say, hey, let's do this. You went to Archie and asked him, hey, Archie, my hands are a little too low, too high, whatever. Be out here tomorrow at 4 o'clock. you got 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. And five or six of it's talking about what we wanted to do. And, you know, Things fell in place, and he would just say, let's get rid of all those uh, plays, that trick plays that don't work. Let's go out, hit the little white rabbit, and have some fun, and we want to win the World Series. Don, thanks for coming on. Thank we you. appreciate Thank it. You. Don Buddy, our Thank guest. You. There he is, being part of the honorees tonight at Miller Park. We'll head on to the bottom of the third. Scored nine runs last night. You ride, you ride it out. I'm with you. After scoring nine runs last night, you ride. At the recipes at McDonald's. Ah, loving it. We go up to the bottom of the third inning here at Miller Park. Scoreless ball game, and it'll be Brett Phillips to lead things off for the Brewers. Phillips, who was just called up before yesterday's game. And the first pitch from Nola is up high, 1-0. That's, uh, that's an interesting thing, too. A guy gets called up before yesterday's game, and the second game after a four-day break for the All-Star break, he'd get a start. You wonder if he thought, all right, we've had four days off. I've got to get everybody at least one game the first weekend. But I'm with you. After scoring nine runs last night, you ride, you ride it out. Outside, two and one. All right, we were talking to Don Money. I didn't see what Ty Kelly did. Uh, Ty Kelly <laughs> struck out swinging. <laughs> Aaron Nola put it in play. Did you get that one? I did. <laughs> Yard made a good play on that one. This is too much, man. The outside corner. Uh, it's two and two. What's another yeah. 50? I know I'd probably use that excuse that it seems to tell you. Yeah, yeah, like, well, yeah, can't be us. Ooh. What do you say after this whole road trip, we, we die? After, after the road trip? After this road trip. I'm in. Yeah, we got to. Bouncer foul. I think I've lost about 2,000 pounds in my life, so what's another yeah. 50? I hear you. No balls at one strike to Ryan Braun, who fly out to left field his first time up. Okay, so you choose after the road trip because of the, the rocks here? They are weakness, yes. I've been really good at the ballpark in Miami. And we'll probably start there. And they do have ice cream. They do. Yes, they do. And there's a big hit to the right side for Braun. That's the third hit of the day for the Brewers. And Travis Shaw is coming up. 1982 Brewers were 95 and 67. They won the American League East. Harvey Key was the manager. Heard Don Money talk about him taking over for Buck Rogers. Pete Bukovic won the Cy Young Award, and Robin Yount was the MVP. It was a great year. Book was in the clubhouse today, and uh, he, he and Bob McClure were funny together. And you know, Robin Yount has been very opinionated, Murph, about the comparisons between the 82. National League is. Yes. 
absolutely had great chemistry back in 82, and that's a big part of it. And they play together, they pick each other up, and that's what championship teams... The MVP. He's under 85 pounds. Guys, 185 pounds, Cecil Cooper. Is that what Don Money said? He's 185 pounds. There's Don. Yeah, they they did hit some home runs that year. That's why they were called up, called Harvey's Wallback. Yeah, but you know what? But you know, just watching them play, they played the game right. They ran the base as well. Held each other accountable. Yeah. Raleigh Fingers was a huge part of their success. He's a, he's a beauty. Raleigh and Pete Vukovic, oh, <laughs> they're uh, interesting gentlemen to have a conversation with. Pete McCatton had Pete Vukovic tell the story today about how he 